dang, it's almost 2023 and I still don't have a gaming PC. I worked my ass off during the Christmas period, now I finally saved a thousand bucks. Did you say you need to build a gaming PC for a thousand dollars? Yeah bro, I need to build one but I don't know what parts to get. Well, let me help you with that one. For real bro? For real mate. Oh, by the way, who are you? I'm the Overseer PC. Oh, I see. Uh, bro, can I have an NVIDIA card on it as well? Because, you know, NVIDIA is the best, bro. Jensen just rocks, man. Are, are we on TV? Mm. We're on stream. We are? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, let's do this. As always, we'll be picking out all brand new parts. There will be no use parts on this build. And all parts discussed here are available at the time of recording. Let's go. For our processor, let's go for one of our favorite and recommended processors this generation and that is the Intel Core i5-12600KF. And what does the KF stand for? K is for unlock, basically this processor is overclockable, but don't worry about that. F means that there's no integrated graphics processor. No integrated graphics processor? Yeah, no built-in graphics processor in this CPU because you wouldn't need it anyway. Uh, okay, all right. As I was saying, this CPU comes with six performance cores, four efficient cores, and packing 16 trades. Alongside this, you will also get 20 megabytes of cash. Now, this processor is currently discounted and is priced at $227.96. Now, that's definitely a deal right there, so bag this one. And because this is a K chip, this runs a bit hot with a TDP of up to 150 watts. So we'll need to cool this off with an aftermarket solution. Well, that's right, Brad. No, I don't want it running hot. Exactly. So we'll be putting this in the Thermal Right Assassin King 120 SE, an air cooler which comes with not three heat pipes, not even four, but five heat pipes. Comes with 120 centimeter fan and that black theme design. Now, this will keep our i5 nice and cool, all for 23 bucks. I must say, damn good stuff, sir. This one's just good and overall value. For our motherboard, we're going for the second tier chipset of the 12th generation and that is the H670 chipset which will give us more PCIe lanes over the P660 by the boards. And for this, we have selected the Asus Prime H670 Plus D4 motherboard. Oh, hey, by the way, bro, just thinking, why aren't we going for an AM5 setup? You know, those new Ryzen's, I heard they were good. Well, mate, their entry-level motherboard alone costs a lot. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And don't forget the DDR5 memory, which is going to cost a lot too, bro. So, anyway, going back to our Asus Prime motherboard, we have everything that we need here. Heat sinks on the VRM and the NVMe slot, up to three PCIe times 16 slots, three M.2 slots, our RGB headers are there, seven USB ports, and even comes with a Type C at the back. The best part is it also comes with debugging lights, which will help if you're troubleshooting your setup. All this for an amazing price of 130 bucks. Now that's definitely a deal right there. For the RAM, this is where we'll be trying to slash our budget a bit and what we picked up is the theme group T-Create Expert Overclocking RAM. This RAM kit is picked for 3600 MHz speeds with decent timings at CS18, 22, 22, 42. Don't forget to enable XMP profile at the BIOS on this one mate. It comes with great color dual channel all for $47. Uh, bro, what about RGB? Are you willing to pay RGB tax? Uh, no. Right. And for our NVMe, we are just picking the cheapest 512GB option here. And what we pick is the Silicon Power 512 NVMe. Nothing fancy. PCIe 3.0 using four lanes. But this comes with a five year limited warranty. Only priced at $29. Hmm, not bad. Now, before we proceed, boys, do note that we do these PC build specs guide every month on different price points. So if you're planning to build a new PC in the next few months, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on the deals that we're trying to highlight. All right, let's go back to. And for our graphics card, we have tried to come up with the best that we can afford right here. We've allocated more than 40% of our budget in this build and what we pick. 
Hey, don't forget, I want an NVIDIA card. Uh, yes, yes, our pick is the Zotac Gaming RTX 3060 Ti OC. Unfortunately, this only comes with 8GB of VRAM, but this should be enough for our need. It also comes with two fans, however, these fans are big enough to cool this card. The RTX 3060 Ti is a pretty decent for competitive games and has access to Nvidia's feature set if you want those like TLSEs. This card comes at only $409. Uh, before we carry on, if you want a better raw performance, the red team has something decent to offer and this is the XFX Speedster Swift RX 6700 XT. This card is much faster than RTX 3060 Ti in competitive games like Warzone and Apex Legends so if you want more raw performance, this is probably the best bang for the buck at $389 brand new. Yes, mate. $389, that's $20 cheaper, comes with triple fans and definitely a much faster card than the Zotac one. Hmm, that's really enticing, I'll try to keep that in mind. To power our rig, we'll need a decent power supply, in fact we'll go for a 750 watt power supply in case you want to go for a beefier card later the next few months. And what we pick is the Thermaltake Smart BM2 750 watts power supply. This is an 80 plus bronze power supply but this is totally fine. It's semi modular, comes with those black flat cables and comes with a 5 year warranty which is pretty decent. The best part is that it will only set us back 65 bucks. 65 bucks boys for an 80 plus bronze 750 watts power supply. And to house all these components, as always we'll be going for a case with mesh front and as much as possible a lot of free fans and what we've opted for is a Zalman i3 Neo Black Edition and this is definitely one of our favorite cases to recommend. It's got magnetic swing, open tempered glass side panel, woo that's pretty cool four RGB pre-installed fans, this is not addressable but it's still good enough, mesh front panel and has a big enough space for our ATX build, all this for 65 bucks. Overall, we've got a pretty amazing PC right here. We've got the Core i5 12600KF, 10 cores and 16 threads, an H670 motherboard with plenty of PCIe expansion capability, not to mention USB ports, 16GB of 3600MHz RAM, RTX 3060 Ti, 750 watts power supply, and a decent case, all for under $1,000. And if you decided to pick the red theme card, you'll even get it cheaper, so definitely bag this one boys. Now, if you think this doesn't fit your budget, you can always go for an $800 build. We've got a guide just a few days ago, so if you're interested in that cheaper option, definitely click this video right here and we'll see you guys over there.